If you've been around Drupal for any time at all, you know you never hack core and you don't hack contributed modules or themes. But what if you do want to use a theme, but you do need to make changes to it? Well, you make a sub theme. And in this video, I'm going to show you just how easy it is to do that. Welcome to OS Tips from OS Training. My name is Rod Martin. And like I mentioned in this video, I want to show you some of the tips and tricks behind making a sub theme for Drupal 8 or 9. Now, you will need access to the file system of your Drupal site in order to do this. <laughs> Let's go. So on the screen, I've got a plain vanilla Drupal 8.9 site, and I've created a simple theme. The only thing in it is the name, the type is theme, core version requirement, Drupal 8 or Drupal 9, and a description. And so right now, it is obviously empty. Now let's talk a little bit about what will get inherited once we make this a sub-theme. Here on the screen, you're going to get the .theme file, which holds all of your hooks. The breakpoints.yaml is inherited from the base theme. Any template overrides that are in the base theme will also be in your sub-theme. The libraries.yaml file is inherited. Any images, CSS, JavaScript are also inherited if the libraries.yaml file is present. And of course, the screenshot is inherited from the base theme. Here's what's not inherited. The actual .info.yaml file, and as you know, you have to have one of those. The logo is not inherited. Any regions that have been created in your base theme will not be inherited, which means you'll need to define all of them. The color module, and of course, the favicon. So how does this work? Well, in basic sub-theming, all you need to do is say base theme colon and then the name of your base theme. In this case, classy. I'll hit save, flush my cache, and immediately you're going to see some of the classy settings. The fonts have changed, the sizes have changed, etc. Now, Classy is a great theme to build on. By far, the most popular Drupal 8 and 9 base theme is Bootstrap for Drupal. And it does it in a different way, which brings me to my last point. You must read the documentation for any theme that you want to use as a base theme, because sometimes it's not that simple. The directions for making a sub-theme from Bootstrap are included in the Docs folder when you download it. It's not hard, but you'd really do need to pay attention and do exactly what it says. Unbelievable, right? One line of code can change your entire look and feel of your custom theme. So whether you're using Classy as your base theme, a contributed theme, or even something like Bootstrap 3 or Barrio, which is Bootstrap 4, it's not difficult at all to create a sub-theme so you can end up doing whatever you want. Well, thanks for watching today. This has been OS Tips from OS Training. I'm Rod Martin. Would you subscribe? Would you like? Would you help us out? <laughs> thanks, and we'll see you next time.